This is at Bishop Anthony Moheri of the Archdiocese of Nyeri. As we celebrate Father's Day, a day that is not so well known and yet is as important, we want to send these best wishes to all fathers in their families. Fathers, you are great, many times heroes, in the way you silently support your families, making big sacrifices for them. You know, in the families, you are the backbone. You are the one who gives security. St. Paul says, I give thanks to God, the Father, from whom all fatherhood comes. To be a father is to reflect the image of God the Father in your families. And God the Father is the one who, in one sense, holds everything in his hand. It's a sense of security. In this time of COVID-19, all you fathers are called to be great protectors of your family, great protectors of your dear wives, great protectors of your dear daughters, great protectors, mentors, and indeed role models of your dear sons. It is what these sons see in you that will make them gentlemen, responsible people in our society who respect their wives and they will respect their other colleagues. Today we celebrate you because of all those sacrifices you make and also we welcome you and encourage you to also be leaders in your spiritual life, your love for God, your faithfulness and strength in expressing those deep convictions of your faith. Our dear fathers, we see many times how much you spend in trying to get what will give the support to your families. Today we challenge you to invest time, heart to your dear daughters so that you can walk with them, talk with them and make them mature by talking in a way that you teach them what relation with a man in their life, what is it that they should look up to. And you, I urge you to spend even more time with your sons because our sons today are sometimes abandoned, not given as much importance, and they need so much mentoring so that they don't get swept or swallowed by the passing winds and sometimes irresponsibly acting and disrespectful to the women, especially their mothers, their sisters, and at times even abusive to women, as in their girlfriends or other working colleagues in future. We must educate them now to be strong in their heart and responsible in their actions and high in their thinking and in their ideals. Dear fathers, as we congratulate you on this Father's Day, we thank you for all what you've done for us. And we ask you, let's celebrate the good values you have. And please be great mentors for all of us. Happy Father's Day. May God bless you. St. Joseph intercede for you.